Hybridization is the process of combining two complementary single-stranded DNA or RNA molecules and allowing them to form a single double-stranded molecule through base pairing. It is the act of mixing different species or varieties of animals or plants and thus to produce a hybrid. In the field of biology, hybridization is usually used as a term in agriculture or in plant production where new, hardy and disease-resistant crops are formed. Hybridization is used as a scientific measure to produce desirable features from interspecies to create a specialised animal or plant known as a hybrid. Most hybrids are sterile. So where did this idea of hybridization come from? Gregory Mandel was a monk born in 1822, and he is referred to as the father of genetics. Between 1856 and 1863, Mandel established many of the rules of hereditary using pea plants, now referred to as the laws of Mendelian inheritance. Gregor Mendel established these theories using the garden pea plant in a series of experiments to investigate the inheritance of characteristics. Mendel used pea plants as they have easily distinguishable characteristics in his experiments. After experimentation with peas, he crossed a tall stem with a short stem with all offspring having tall stems. Mendel suggested that for each trait, one factor was dominant. In this case, tall was dominant over short. Mendel then allowed this generation of plants, named the F1 generation, to cross-pollinate with another generation of pea plants. The resulting generation, referred to as the F2 generation, contained both tall and short plants. This showed the, alternate, the short alternate form had not disappeared. It was just recessive and had not been masked by the dominant form. The F2 generation had a ratio of three tall plants to one short plant. Mendel found the same result for all seven characteristics he studied. This ratio of three to one is known as the monohybrid ratio. From this, Mendel could prove that there is a dominant gene that comes from each parent. So yeah, this all sounds kind of cool, but what does it have to do with agriculture or science? Well, hybridization has been used by companies to produce the corn that has the ability to resist disease and stay upright for longer, enabling it to produce more cobs or a higher yield, which increases the farmer's profits. Other advantages include the recombination of genes at fertilization, allowing the possibility of producing an offspring that has the best characteristics of both parents. For example, a male donkey and a female horse creates a mule. Other hybrids can withstand unfavorable environmental conditions. Sometimes a hybrid can have a better disposition or is generally healthier than a purebred, such as seen in dogs and cats. Botanists produce hybrids to get a healthier grass seed or a larger variety of flowers. However, hybridization has some disadvantages as well as when humans artificially choose parents. This becomes what's known as a crapshoot, a gamble. Such as in racehorses, the best is mated with the best, However, sometimes this can backfire and the worst traits from both parents can be inherited. The killer bee is another example of hybridization. They were created in an attempt to breed tamer and more manageable bees. This was done by crossing a European honeybee and an African honeybee, but instead the offspring became more aggressive and highly defensive and escaped into the wild. The ghost pepper is another example of a hybrid. It is a chili that was made from two different chilies to create the hottest chili in the world. The chili is 400 times hotter than Tabasco sauce. The Australian milking zebu was developed in the mid-1950s by mating Pakistani Sahawil and Red Sindhi dairy, dairy cattle, initially with high milk producing Jersey cattle, later some breeding with Illawarra, Guernsey and Holstein Frisian bloodlines occurred. This hybrid was created for agricultural purposes because throughout the breeding of the different types of cow, the most desirable traits were able to be selected. Those traits include the ability to tolerate heat by means of sweating and the ability to discard ticks from its loose skin, which came from the Pakistani Sahawil and the Red Sindhi. It is similar in shape and colour to Jersey cattle. Hybridization is an amazing feat of science and has only been achieved by striving to create a new, advanced species. It is responsible for the creation of many new and interesting species. Mm -hmm.